Welcome. This is Hyder Ali Syed from Asivagam. See, that's uh, that's not that's not my view. My view is very simple, very straightforward. It's a book of God. It's a reminder. It's not a book of conversion. It's a reminder for people of the book uh-huh. and children of Israel. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, the Quran you have in your house. Is this the word of God or is this uh, pen and paper? Is this printed paper uh-huh. written by some print press? Or is this the actual word of God? See, uh, before asking uh, this question, can you tell me where, where are you from? Uh, I am from India. India, which uh, which bloodline, which tribe? Which tribe? Yeah, tribe. I'm from the tribe of Ham, Kash bin Ham bin Nu. Kash, uh, I didn't get you. Which uh, Kashmir? Kash bin Ham bin Nu. Kashmir. Kash bin Ham bin Nu, simply. Of which land is Tamil? The Tamil land. Uh, that's the reason why, uh, the, like, like uh, you, if you know Quran, then you must also knowing that uh, Prophet Muhammad was responded by a Tamil king. Do you agree with that? Uh, which verse of Quran is? It, no, no, I'm not talking about the verse. It's a historical uh, thing. Uh, chapter 54, which talks about uh, Kamar, the splitting of the moon. Uh-huh. And uh, after seeing the splitting of the moon, people who responded to Prophet Muhammad, among them, one was a Tamil king from Kerala. Do you know the history of that? Uh, which uh, Quranic verse mentioned that? No, no, I'm not talking about Quranic verse. It's a historical, uh, the, the, the splitting of moon uh, took place or not? Can you refer to me the, from a historical book which says that? Uh, you can uh, Google it out, Chair, Chairman uh, King from Kerala. The first mosque uh, in India was built uh, during the ti- lifetime of Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Yeah, just, just find out. First mosque in India. Just Google it out. Okay, I am fi- finding out, but all the resor- sources which are mentioned, they are uh, none of them predates the time and all are written that specification needed that means they are not sure so can you comment me on uh, or a back channel me some book which states this a uh, fact book like we have many books okay, okay let's uh, start with the uh, Quran only since you, I think you have yeah, come, but, uh, you but have before a, uh, Quran, yeah. we should deal with the question what Quran is. So, what do you think about the Quran which you have, have already in your given house? You is the, this the word of God? I have already given you. I have already given you the uh, answer that Quran is a book of God. It is a reminder for people of the book and children of Israel. You told me, yeah, 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 I got. But I am saying the Quran which you have and me in my house, the Quran which we have got printed from some printed press. Is this the word of God or this is the produce of a printing press? I'm not getting your question. Do you have? Do you do? Do, uh, do you disbelieve that in that book? Do you believe in that book or you don't believe in the book? Yeah, I believe. I believe. But I am asking: Is this the word See, of God? A, that's that's that question is irrelevant. I purchased from a book stall. So we we all have to purchase from a book stall and we have to say we, same printing no, press. We have to use it. That's why I say that is this is this this particular thing the word of God. See, uh, uh, Ben, you are from Kashmir. Okay, I agree with you. But uh, this Quran is a reminder for people of the book and children of Israel. And I want to know who are the people of the book. Since you know Quran, can you tell me who are the people of the book and who are children of Israel? But let us, uh, where is this, this sentence written that this is the book for the reminder of uh, children of Israel? The thing you quoted, where is this written? Have you not read Quran? Wherever you find, uh, O children of Israel, remember the favors which I have uh, bestowed upon you. Then you know the Quran, why are you uh, answer, why, why are you, uh, why are you, why are you uh, using all those words? Can you, this is what you were no, saying. Can you, can you tell me? Quran is no, no, can you tell Quran, me? I just recited the verse of Quran actually, where you translated in English. I, I just spoke it in 
So I, I want to learn from you, Ben. Ben, I want to learn from you that uh, the Quran, which is, talks about uh, children of Israel and people of the book, who are they and where are they today? Can you explain me? This question you need to first explain. What verse are you talking about? I just quoted you. There are uh, uh, people are talking about uh, chapter three, verse thirty-three. Adam, Noah, family of Imran, and family of Ibrahim. Okay. Can Wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Imran. And ala Adam, Noah. In, in it says in Allah hastafa Adam. What are you trying to say? Are you? Uh, I am. I am a student. Teach me something. What you know. So I am asking you some question. Okay. Since you are a knowledgeable. No, you are a knowledge, knowledgeable person. You are, not, you, are, you, are not, you are knowledgeable person, and you, yeah, you are you are a knowledgeable person. So I am asking some questions so that I can understand Quran better from you. So can I ask you some question from the Quran? Will you able to answer? Explain me that verses from the Quran. Ben, are you there? I am already there, but can you hear me? Yeah, 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 I'm. Uh, you, you got my my uh, what I said. You, you, you heard me or not? No, your voice wasn't coming. Okay, okay, okay. I said, since you are from a knowledgeable person, I, I have some uh, question from the Quran. Can you explain some verses uh, to me? But first, we have to discuss what Quran is, na? So you tell me what when is Quran. Both, you tell me what Quran is. Wait, wait. First, let us agree what Quran is. What is the nature of Quran? For example, can you recite to me a verse of Quran or any sort, anything from Quran? Bin, 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 bin. Let's uh, discuss because uh, this is a uh, this is we are. Uh, yeah, because first we have to discuss the nature of Quran. Then we would. You touch explain the me what is the what is, what is the nature of Quran? Whatever you want That's to tell, just, just, can just explain you, can it. Can you just, recite just explain me a me. single uh, verse just from Quran? Just explain me. I don't know Arabic. Come on. Uh, you tell, you t t tell me the okay, nature of Quran. Okay, you don't know Arabic. I don't. Uh, I myself don't know Arabic. But can you recite a single verse? No, you tell me the what you say. Uh, what are you trying to... Nature of Quran. What do you mean by nature of Quran? Explain yeah, me. Because when you will recite, I will tell you what the nature is. Can you recite me a single verse? You are talking like a Brahmin now, yeah? Huh? Oh, just, uh, okay, so, uh, sorry, gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, where are we going with this? Uh, yeah. uh, ben, uh, like we're here to listen and learn. So if you have something to, that's input, why we want, want free. To, uh, want yeah, but like everyone. Yes, Ben. Uh, first of all, uh, welcome to the room. This is not a room of contention. Yeah. Uh, so. I don't want to hear an argument. To, honestly, I just love to hear people's having a really interesting and thoughtful debate. Mm -hmm. So, can we start again? And what is it that you are asking? And, uh, I am actually phrase. asking the, bo the, the brother is quoting me Quran. And I am saying that let us first discuss what Quran is. What is its nature? Because So, why don't you start by telling us what you think the Quran is and We'll move on. It looks like you're, uh, yes, that's why I am. Uh, so you're that like a prosecutor. You're trying to are. prosecute Hadril. So just go ahead. You go ahead and tell us what no, it is. No, 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 Let's no, learn no. from this you. Is a, this is a friendly Let's learn from discussion. you. This I know, but Let's learn from you first. Let's, I, got, I got it. So let's learn from you first. Right? So tell us what you... Tell us the... Apparently, no one wants to answer the question you're asking. So why don't you decide to answer the question for us? Then okay, I would ask. But first, I would know right. now what... He, okay, but let me ask from the panel. First, what they believe so that I could tell... There's a variation what? of belief. We could be here for the next six years just having a debate over what our belief systems are. So why don't you enlighten us with your thoughts first? I would... But first, I would learn now what are the beliefs to be corrected. Or to be discussed. All right, so why don't you start? Thank you. Uh, I am saying the Quran was uh, just like we Muslims believe that Quran has seven aruf. It was revealed in seven different letters. Aruf. So what are these aruf? Are they created or they are non-created? What does the panel believe? So what is the meaning of aruf? If a 
person believes in Quran, he should know about Ahruf. I'm asking you what the word means. For example, I'm not a Muslim. I have I'm not a Muslim, so I don't know. But then it would be. Why don't you? Why don't you enlighten me? Uh, see, but the thing is that it would be impossible uh, uh, for me to explain to you what Ahruf is if you are not a Muslim. That's not uh, true. I'm an intelligent, smart person, and so is everyone in this room. So why don't you just try? Must be intelligent, but this is the thing that the sacred knowledge cannot be transferred. Yes, it can. Just continue. Tell us what a roof means, please. Appreciate it. Thank you. That is why I am saying now, a roof are seven kira different kiraats and seven different numericals in which Quran was revealed. Alright, so what are they? Can you get into it or you don't want to share? For example, we have Sabbihisma Rabbikal Ala. Ala is Aruf and another Aruf is Ale. Sabbihisma Rabbikal Ale. For example, the word Maliki Yawmiddin. And then we have Maliki Yawmiddin. Maliki and Maliki are both. Ahruf, different Ahruf. So, so let's just start with what's the definition of Ahruf. Just so if I explain. recite Maliki Din or, or I <coughs> Maliki Yawmid Din, it won't affect the meaning. You, you said something without like. I don't understand what you're saying, so can you that's just no. Hey, no, 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 just give me a definition of the word Aruf. That's all I need. A definition of the word Aruf. It cannot be easily translated into English. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Uh, just why do you think it? No, means? we haven't so far been able to get the appropriate definition in the dictionary for Aruf. That's the problem now. That is uh, the no, question. So so you don't. So you're you're telling us that all this stuff, but you don't even know the definition of aruf. It's a mystery. I to you. can, I can, but in Arabic. <laughs> and unfortunately, you don't. You so don't how do you it. how do you so confidently come in here and say all this stuff without even knowing? The one meaning no, of that actually, word. Actually, I was referring to the audience who are Muslims because any every Muslim knows what Ahruf is. And if he doesn't But know, you don't know what Ahruf means. No, I know, but you don't know. Now I cannot make it. No, no, but you don't know. I asked for a definition. I explained to you now, just like I would say Maliki Yawmiddin and I would say Maliki Yawmiddin. Reciting Maliki or Maliki won't change the meaning. This is the Ahruf al Qurani. So it's just pure confusion then. That's all I'm hearing confusion from you. Ahruf means confusion. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Whatever, whatever you can. It is uh, the Quran was. Uh, you come in here attacking uh, people, but at least give me a, de a word of definition of that word Ahruf. That's all. It has a meaning. So just if you know it. Say it. If you don't know it, say I don't know it. You you cannot uh, just put a blame on me that I came to attack this and that. La 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 la. I just came. That's how you did. That's how you and came, brother. No, no, no. Oh. I just came. But anyway, and welcome to the room. Uh, uh, Chin, may I ask a question to Ben? May I? Which? Oh, please, of course. Yes. Uh, I just. I will. I would love to know what the Aruf means, and we're here to learn. And brother doesn't seem to wanna share what it means. Yeah, so based on that, I have a question, actually. Yeah, see, I have, uh, based on what uh, Brother Ben said, if a person who is not a Muslim, mm. and if he does not understand Arabic, he may not be able to understand what Aruf means. Yeah. Right? And uh, I'm because here... Because Aruf is directly connected yeah, to yeah, Arabic yeah, grammar and spelling. Yeah, I understand that. I, 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 without knowing Arabic, uh, not just as a reciting language, as a, uh, someone must understand the language first to understand wh uh, what is in Quran. Right? Mm -hmm. And I am someone that who, who uh, do not know, uh, mm -hmm. understand the Quran. Uh, as well as Arabic, and I'm a non-Muslim. Mm -hmm. If I want to know what is mm -hmm. there in Quran, mm -hmm. of knowing Arabic, 
Uh, can anyone like me do? Anyone can explain to me when I do not know Arabic? Is it possible? How do you so profess the faith that you don't know even the meaning of the word? So you are this is what gets me, you know. So your can question I have is that, uh, let me first rephrase your question. Your question is that a person who does not know Arabic can he teach you Islam? Yes. Uh, you mean he does not know Arabic language or he is totally ignorant of Arabic? He cannot yeah. read even Quran. Yeah, reading Quran is something that without understanding the meaning. Yeah, uh, but uh, uh, if a person is not well versed in Arabic language, it is okay. But he should be well versed in the uh, uh, what we say as the recital ways and the modes and the ways, styles, editions, forms, and modes in which Quran is being recited. Yeah, I, that's, I why, understand that's that. why we have harf. That's why we have harf. Yes. And uh, yeah, I understand that. So if he has the knowledge yes. of let harf, me, and let me go for that. We are discussing, right? So let me share my point, like you know, based on what you just said. There are a lot of people they actually recite Quran, recite, but in a everyday life, like if they do not speak Arabic at all, or they actually have never learned Arabic, they cannot say that, like you know, hello, how are you in Arabic? Also. Mm -hmm. So, but they do recite Quran. So, without even just understand. like me, I don't, I cannot speak Arabic, but I recite Quran and I can know the usul and the rules and the regulation, the forms, uh, the ways, the styles in which Quran has been recited and is to be recited. Yeah, but I don't when, know Arabic. When someone asks you the uh, meaning of your whatever you are reciting in a different language, it is difficult for you to explain that to me, right? And it's since you do not know, it's in yeah, I think yes. parts yeah, of that we uh, can understand parts of uh, it we cannot understand because the language I speak, no, my mother. Uh, parts doesn't make whole. So what I mean to say is that when you yourself do not know Arabic and you cannot explain the verses of Quran in what it means in Arabic also. There are, uh, let in me that. tell you. The no, 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 I have not standard. Done. No, no. Let me be, let me, let me share Arabic. my understanding. Say, uh, uh, give me an answer for everything. Uh, I, let me see based on the one point. That is that if you yourself do not speak Arabic, you, but you are yes. very good in fighting. And, uh, and, when, and you also say that, that uh, some of the verses cannot be explained in a different language to a person who doesn't understand Arabic. So many, many things which yeah, I cannot. Many things. So here, the what I see is I am someone who doesn't understand Arabic, and you are someone who cannot speak in Arabic. You only know the reciting. How are you going to explain that? Like if I ask you about the Quranic verses. Even if a person is well versed in Arabic language, he cannot understand Quran because Quran is a different form of Arabic. Quran has its own Arabic and standard Arabic is different from Quranic Arabic. These oh, are two okay, languages. Okay, I get that. And so which means why that I said that I am, not, I am not well versed. Listen, listen. Isma, Isma. I am not well versed in the standard Arabic. But I can understand the Quranic Arabic. So I know the rules, regulations, the grammars of Quran Arabic. Sima, to the Sima, Sima, Sima. Isma or Sima? Which one? I said Isma. Listen. Uh, Sama means to listen. Sama means to listen. Sima. Isma. Isma. Well, I speak a language that's related to Arabic, much older. Which language? Arabic. Tigrinya. Of we Ethiopia. say Sima. No, Eritrea. Ethiopia. Eritrea. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah, Eastern, uh, uh, sorry, Oriental Orthodox. Uh, Orthodox, but. Oriental, Oriental, Oriental. Oriental. Coptic. No, no. Coptic. Tuhado. 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 You have your own. Tuhid. Tuhid. In Arabic, it will be Tuhid. Yeah, and your church is in uh, Cairo. No, our church is in our yeah. country. We don't uh, we don't deal with Cairo anymore. Oh, well, we have we don't deal with Cairo. No.
you separate not from Cairo. No, well, Cairo is from us. They come from us. We're older Cops. than the Cairo church. Cop, Cops. No, there are Cops. We're not Cops. Coptic Orthodox Church. We're to Wahido. And who founded your church? We found it. In which century? Well, it started with Judaism and then it became Christianity. So you are a Oriental Orthodox? No, we are our own Tawhido. It's called Tawhido. You come in the group of Orientals now. Nah? You are not Eastern, no. you are Oriental, just like. Not anymore. Eastern. After 1991, we separated. We are on our own. We are on our own. We removed ourselves from uh, Coptic. What about Oriental. the Ethiopians? Which church they belong? They probably belong to the Coptic. They still uh, deal with the Coptics, but we don't deal with the Coptics. So why you broke from them? We didn't break from them. We just didn't. We don't. They they don't they they don't have any right to pick anything for us. We we started. We gave them the religion. The Copts are way old, uh, younger than us. So why would they be telling us and to what to do? Because they are majority. Well, who cares? Their own independent Tawhido church. Uh, and what about Armenians? Armenians also came from us. We actually, the Armenian church started from our, one of our, uh, uh, one of our uh, uh, evangelists. Went to Armenia and started the church there. In the fourth, not the fourteenth century. I, I don't remember the exact year, but yeah, that's the case. So what is the concept of you, you people regarding Jesus? I will have to talk to the high priest. I don't want to talk about that personally. It's my personal belief. So what your church believes regarding the Tawhid? What do you mean? What is the meaning of Tawhid? Tawhid. The oneness. The oneness of God. Oneness of whom? God. Who is God? The Creator. And who is Jesus? His Son. So Jesus is not God? No, He cannot be God. No. But He is the Son of God. Who, oh, okay. Jesus is the son of God. Yeah. Who is the wife of God? God cannot have a wife. But he can have a son, so he needs a wife. <laughs> it's God, man. Come on. He can do whatever he wants to. Why would you limit his uh, capacity? Why he wants son? Why not a daughter? Is God racist? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't use the word racist. In that case, it would be sexist, right? Whatsoever. Why can't he have a daughter? I, you will have to ask God that question. No, you better ask God. Why is he discriminating on the base of this? Are you looking for contentious uh, debate? or are you having oh, This should be some a little bit. No, it is logical. Why God has a son? Why not have a daughter? Well, the Holy Spirit is a feminine spirit, right? What is Holy Spirit? Is it God or not? It's a manifestation of God. Manifestation. But you know what? I, I really don't want to have a, a debate on uh, I, uh, on the the nature of God. To be honest with you, it is omnipotent, so it is not something that I, I wish to debate. Uh, the nature of God because it's omnipotent. I can't. You can't say what. You know, if God is omnipotent, then why, what is his manifestation? In what way? You said Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit is man his manifestation. Yes, yeah, the Spirit of God. What was the manifestation of God before he created Holy Spirit? He's the beginning and the end. So, what are you talking about? Beginning and end both come from time. What was there before time? No, there is no time when it comes from beginning and the end. There is no time, brother. There is 
for a time for a time you need beginning and for time you need end when there is no time there is no there is no beginning there is no end there, there is a beginning and there is no end so there is no time before so what was there before beginning there was no beginning there was no end it's so everything it's came never. just as it is so what yeah. did god create if there is mm, everything from the beginning what did then what well, what's, what's your point of your questioning what what are you trying to get at it seems yes. like a, i feel like a, the inquisition is upon me no 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 you can uh, not say this it's just i want to learn from you the nature of god and what yeah god i don't is. think you want to learn i think if you want to learn we can build with a with a that's why it's for matter it's an exchange I, but if you're consistently asking me question after question after question that's inquisition so let's slow it down that's now let's get back to where you were talking about with robin and no, the basics uh, i want to learn the nature yeah of i mean so uh, to be honest with you i only yeah, yeah, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna because i'm at work right now i apologize uh, hi there i think uh, it is uh, no fun uh, talking to and then uh, i think it is of uh, no use to this to talk to have a talk because when we cannot agree on any sort of thing and uh, our uh, opinions as well as our things are totally different i came to the group i thought that uh, we could learn then, uh, we could i apologize give me a second i have to but unfortunately there is no scope then, here then, then so i've got a question it is it's to one question again hang on hang on hang on guys see just because two people who brought him here mohammed are you the thing what he says in my point of view it is absolutely not making sense because there are lakhs and lakhs of people in tamil nadu who are very sincerely that are practicing muslim practicing islam and believing that they are reading a tamil quran so he is actually telling them they are reciting the quran without understanding the true meaning that is what he is saying this is exactly that they been saying not now because now on indian continent there is a lot of problems prior to that they were kind of forcing people to uh, learn arabic the reason which was given was that arabic cannot be translated into uh, any other language with a specific meaning so that is exactly the greeks first did it they taught they have greek wherever they went they said that this is the only way you can understand then persian did the same thing without learning persian but no persian that they actually cannot live in their country then in india without learning hindi they cannot live in the country so besides a belief system besides finding a path for a spiritual life because every book to my knowledge every every book which we ever given to people is only a tool to find the path of a spiritual life but here there are too many conditions of being said even to understand what is written the same way that how our uh, sanskrit texts were uh, people were saying about sanskrit test first they said like without understanding sanskrit they cannot read the sanskrit uh, mantras then they said that it is not everyone who can actually allow, can be allowed to read sanskrit only specific people will be allowed to read sanskrit because we have seen that history linguistic history in our land for the last about 3000 years the same way as a first thing because history keep repeating itself if you look at the linguistic history by i mean applied by all the kingdoms and empires they would have a pattern this in the same pattern now they say that if if let's say that i am somebody that who wants to understand quran 
and I am learning from uh, uh, people who I know in uh, or can be translated to my language or a language I know then someone comes and tell me that like you know there is no way that it can be translated and uh, if I want to understand that uh, I need to understand I need to learn the language so they are imposing me something so what happens sooner or later that I have to abandon my ethnic language then they add up and in fact like you know, certain things were being taught in summer in 90s for Tamil Muslims like you know they have to they should not uh, wear dresses like you know the ethnic people they have to wear like you know how uh, Arabs wear it they uh, I was seeing them even my own close friends they said they were looking like Arabs but traditionally they've been sitting here for more than 1400 years the Tamil Muslims are not those people who pass through the Khyber Bolan to invade or as a nomad. Tamil Muslims, like you know, they've been sitting with us for a very, very long time, even before those invaders came in. And they ordered, all started uh, wearing uh, dresses like Arabs because they wanted to look like Muslim. If they don't dress up like that, when they go to a mosque, they were treated like, you know, badly. I have a lot of witnesses who would say what I, what I said is right. Especially is the mosque, which is uh, right uh, uh, in uh, Hyderabad. Really knows the mosque. He has been there. In that mosque, they used to ill-treat people, like you know, who come with their traditional dress. They were uh, uh, people in the mosque. They were insisting them to wear like you know, Arab people. So you lose your language. You lose your identity. Like you know, then what? and work against the ethnic. All this thing has happened. Now it has been kind of reduced. But still, the lesson has been taught. People do adapt. That is exactly he's saying. For hundreds of thousands of years, like not the utmost thousand four hundred years, and the people are reading Quran in their language. I don't know how many uh, Tamil Muslims are here in the panel. Anyone blink their mic? Tamil Muslims. Ansar, you are Tamil Muslim. Tamil Muslim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, you ever heard of, have you ever heard a language called RV? Language is not a language. No, are you a Tamil Muslim? No, no. No, I can only ask you about Tamil Muslim. No, don't speak to me in that language. I don't understand it. Don't speak to me. Uh, okay. And so that's what happens, you know. See, what people do not know is there was a, there is a language still alive which was invented in Tamil Nadu. It is called A-R-W-I-R-V, a language, a mixture of Arabic and Tamil. It was invented like not more than 1400 years ago, even before like in you know, a Quran was uh, given to the world. Since then that those people have been sitting here with us. Then when Quran was given, it was translated into that RV language that is the Quran that Tamil Muslims were reading for so long, certain pockets. They are uh, known as Marakayas. That's what I talk about. They are the Moors who are living in our land. They've been our seafaring partners for like you know, thousands of years. The way that like you know, in my belief how the Eritreans were our partners. When people talk about Tamil ethnic, they talk about Raj Raja Sodan, who lived a thousand years ago, that how extensively like he, he, he was administrating countries in Singapore, Malaysia, or all the Asian countries. And these people, Marakaya, like, you know, they were the primary import. They played a vital role in that expansion. And they, they were reading and writing RV. You can... Wikipedia, probably you will find a page or any, any other pages. It is easy for 
Tamil to understand because it is a mixture of Tamil as well as like you know, Arabic. And all these years, like you know, they have done a mistake. They have read Quran without understanding in a proper manner. He is not only pointing out one person. He is talking about people who lived so long. Billions of people lived and died, believing that, like an it was believed in the Quran with, the, with when they heard, when they read. This fanaticism cannot happen in my land. Who are the Muslims like you know, here? Understand it. You do what you want outside my state. The whole India knows how our state functions. We function in a very, very specific manner. We are up against the whole of India. Every Indian know that. People cannot be subjugated based on a linguistic color or religion or any, any way. This is our culture. To uphold our culture, we will deal with anyone. The guy is from Kashmir. He cannot come and talk to a Tamil person like that in a Tamil room when a Tamil is around. Actually, I wanted to tell him. So I picked a conversation. When a Tamil is around, based on a color, religion, or whatever it is, one cannot threaten another person. If anyone is Ben's friend, please tell them. This is how we function. This is how we wear. This is how we are going to be. To speak about Christian history, I will say that like to you people. In Tutukudi, in Tamil Nadu Tutukudi, there is one of the oldest Catholic church, which is called, like, uh, is there. In old days, like, you know, they were praying in Latin. When Vatican took control of the church, they expected those people to do the same, but the people said, no, we will not pray in different language. We would pray only in our language. The debate and war went on, argument went on for a very long time. A lot of letter correspondence uh, happened. Those letters are in Vatican Museum even now. People threaten Vatican that do not impose your language onto us. When you want to speak to God, we would speak to God in our language, which the world doesn't know. Because of that, that was the first church who worshipped, prayed in Tamil. Only then translations were made, and the, every other church all over the world, one by one, they started praying in their own language. This is the history of these churches, why they pray in their own languages instead of Latin. The one who started is like not Tamil Nadu. People won't talk about it, but that's the history. So in such land, people should know how to behave. They can do all their like not threats and everything on to other people and everything in other land, not in this state. A similar pattern they are using in every age, every time. So that's, yeah, that's history. Yeah, that's history. Yeah. That is history. When Roman took, like, you know, what did they do? Yeah. When Persians, like, you know, became an empire, what did they do? Mm -hmm. Even before they became Muslim. Yeah. When North Indians, like, you know, took over this country, like, what did they do? Impose Hindi, yeah. Before that, like, you know, when Sanskrit people were in high administrative position, what did they do? Yes. There is one Dr. Muthulachmi Reddy was the first, her name, the Dr. Muthulachmi Reddy's name as a first woman who became the doctor in this Tamil Nadu in Madras presidency. Mm -hmm. The only qualification she ever had was 
is not that she was great in science. She just knew Sanskrit. That's why she was recruited. Because at that time, it doesn't matter what, how much marks a person gets in science. Only if they know Sanskrit, they were allowed to get into the MBBS, the doctor, to study do uh, medicine. They did that. Is that what uh, is it the future of Arabic? I think I came in the wrong time to mess up the whole stuff. No, 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 no. It's okay. Uh, it, it was necessary because uh, those people, uh, I think Muhammad bin and Ansar, they are from Kashmir actually. They came here to have a discussion. And uh, same as usual, you don't, you don't know Arabic, so you cannot uh, speak on Quran. This is what they are what, trying to indirectly tell me. Uh, no, at the same time, there is also another question for you. Yeah. And let's say that, like, you know, you are, uh, or you are anybody. So, misinterpreting Quranic verses. Let's say that somebody is doing it. Yeah. When someone misinterpret, be it Quran or be it uh, uh, Torah or whichever it is, who is the one who can punish the person? Who has the authority? God. Yes. So what are other people have to do? But let's say that like you know, I think that uh, you are misinterpreting. What is my my role in that? And if I am a very sincere person and following Allah, I should pray for you to guide you well. Yeah. That is the duty. Yeah. If I see someone doing something wrong, in the name of God, I do not hold authority to punish the person. I hold, I don't have the authority to ask God to punish you also. Because the moment I did ask God to punish you, I lose all the wisdom I learned so far. Because every Quran and everything teaches us compassion and kindness. Yeah. So when you do something wrong, if I am such a sincere person, I should pray for you. Yes, yeah. To give you, I would ask God to give you guidance abundantly so you wouldn't make the mistake. This is, should be the actual way for the believer to do things when someone is doing knowingly or unknowingly making a mistake. Not to give you threats, not to give you an authority to say that like you know you cannot do it. No, because that authority is not given to me by God. One thing I have noticed you know, this thing of uh, testing people been happening from uh, almost you know um, all uh, people who uh, call themselves uh, you know coming from a religious background like especially those who are uh, reading the text and uh, and uh, uh, think they hold an authority on the books right like it, it's it sounds as if uh, you know they sound as if uh, they have absolute authority on the book like they know they know every nook and corner of it and they begin to question right and uh, and they all all need answers uh, right 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 up in uh, one word two word that's it so if you uh, can't give an answer like like the other person uh, they expect the other person to have known the book just like them and to also prove the point that you know uh, they are better learned uh, than the other and then they make something out of it and uh, uh, maybe you know look less upon them and uh, start judging right 
so i don't think uh, uh, we do uh, our discussions uh, in that way is it uh, just by talking uh, for the first time in few minutes and giving a test like that like you decide you can't be among uh, uh, the, set, the, the the set of people i think you should ask opinion from ashwin tamil vaithi about what just happened it doesn't work here this is a different land yeah. people cannot keep assuming just because it is in india that like you know we have to follow how rest of the people are and uh, we will follow yes. india is supposed to follow us which they are refusing to do so <laughs> Yeah, true. That is true. the actual thing. Yeah, that's true. It is not that uh, the, uh, we we are refusing to follow India. India is refusing to follow us. They supposed to follow us. We are not supposed to follow them. Yeah, today or tomorrow they have to. <laughs> Now you see that when there are only Muslims, be it Tamil or Malayalam or whoever it is, how people who know Arabic. will take charge yes right yeah. because that's made to look as the authority yes. right yeah. through the book right so it goes again that the same thing of what brahmanism classes is there jewish sanskrit yeah the sanskrit all that other that's why rightly i the said now you are talking like a brahmin <laughs> they go for the same classification let's say that like you know we put uh, 10 people like you know who speak arabic on a daily basis and you recite arabic uh, quran and you put like you know malayalis 10 people tamil 10 people and kannada 10 people all of them are muslims and who is going to take charge in that uh, group arabic person yeah, yeah. no then they will test uh, if there are 10 arabic people uh-huh. uh, then 10 10 arabic speaking people or you no know, learned people then there will be a test among them like who can uh, no uh, no 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 no, 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 no. Right. you didn't get it the 10 arabic people like will dominate will try to say that like yeah, other people have to listen arabic uh, person says makes a mistake in while talking about quranic verses when a malayali muslim even when he knows what is right he won't have the authority to correct him the moment he corrects they will jump on him and say like you don't even know arabic how can you correct him? yeah that's true i'm, sorry, I'm talking about yeah. the, uh, low level uh, practical problems uh, uh, ground level problems so they are setting up they are setting up all over the world like you know with the arabic right yeah satyugam possible only